Hey guys, uh, so you might be wondering where I have been for the past, I don't know, two months. Um, I've been really busy actually getting my uh, maintenance company up and running. And I actually have filmed a few videos, but I've been so busy I haven't gotten to edit them. And so I thought, um, since it's been so long, I'd at least uh, show you the cool stuff we got in here at the shop today because we got a lot of cool stuff and it's Christmas Eve, so I'm gonna show you what we got. So I thought I'd start off with the coolest stuff, which I really wanna take home, I'm still deciding. We have here a wild Peruvian green discus and an albino red-eyed uh, discus, a true albino discus. I really want to take this Peruvian uh, home, but as you'll see in a little bit, I have quite a few other fish I'm already bringing home, so. And now over here, we have lots of uh, black ghost knife fish, a personal favorite of mine, a bunch of cute little baby ones. And then we got a saber tusk barracuda in here with them. And uh, a bunch of little Endler Sherry uh, Bicers or bikers next door to that. We got a bunch of electric blue rams. These guys came in pretty good sized. Uh, and alongside them, a bunch of little chocolate gouramis. Then over here, with some uh, iridescent sharks in the back, and then some uh, mono sea bay and Marta, uh, mono. Argentius in here, a fun brackish, can go full fresh, full salt, or brackish fish, very versatile. And then we've got some um, Jack Dempsey convicts and firemouth cichlids. A little firemouth getting chased over there. Then a bunch of red devils, these guys, really black eyes. <laughs> Or some green Texas cichlids. Up above, we got a little Shodentai puffer, a really young one next to a red Tugelsi bicher. Yeah, these uh, Shodentais, their price has been going way down now that people are actually breeding them here in the United States. So, unlike they used to be, you know, $250, $300, we got them here, 70 bucks probably won't find that deal very many other places though so if you're in the bay area and want one we got a little baby giardini right here a 40 dollar tiny one a ton of little pea puffers little babies and some uh, blue acaras another little giardini and some Thai blue, uh, blue silk flower horns. Down here we got some good uh, red eye liar tail swords. Look at the tails on those males, really long, beautiful. A um, couple little angels in here. Had a bunch more before, but sold a bunch. And got some little African frogs in there, some coolie loaches. Oh, here comes Angel again. We got some young little uh, red parrots and some flower horn cichlids. And we got some red severums. Oh, a little uh, albino. Um, what do you call them? Giant Harami. And then down here we've got some huge uh, clown loaches. Big old jumbo loaches. And then a lungfish hanging out in the back there. And if we look around, got a big old pleco. And hiding in here somewhere, let's see, there's a pike cichlid, but. The one other thing in here I wanted to check out, uh, we got a Chinese royal loach, which are pretty cool kind of loach, pretty expensive, and not something you see every day. Whoa! Let's see if we can find him. He's been hiding all day, every time I look in here. Oh, there he is down in the bottom. Wait. He's behind this clown loach. Whoa! 
There we go. Here's the Royal Chinese Loach. Can't get him to stay still. Well, hopefully you guys got a good look at him because he keeps ducking and all right, I'm not having a good time getting him on camera. All right, then back over here, got some royal and clown knives, some black ear sharks, some regular Oscars. Got a pretty cool Abba Abba knife. Got a few of these in today. I love the, these knives because the Abba Abbas have their uh, little squiggly fin on the top rather than the bottom like most uh, knife fish. And then back here with the discus again. And then a black arowana hanging in here. I got a New Guinea uh, tiger detonoid. Flower horn. A silver tiger detonoid. So many tigers. Flower horns. Got a gold Siamese tiger datinoid. He's not adjusting well. You gotta give him some time to adjust. Some uh, ornate vicers. Another flower horn. And a geophagus hecali. These guys are beautiful. We had a whole bunch in last week. This is one of the last ones. We also had some albinos, but they sold quick. And, uh, definitely an underrated fish, Geophagus hecali. Another black arowana. And another one. Definitely got a lot of those in this week. Some green terrors. Some paku. More Oscars. And a whole lot of baby silvers. A little silver arowana. And some larger silvers. Along with a whole bunch of hiding fire eels. <laughs> Just poking their heads out. And I got some uh, African cichlids mixed with some peacocks. Some more Africans. Some trophies. Big old Jardini. Nothing too special, some puffers, little figure eights, and uh, green spotted. Got a little baby uh, albino arowana, and yet another black arowana. Up here, got a brycon, a red tail brycon, and arrowhead puffer. And you can see why he's called that by this big old arrow. Whoop, that was right on his head. Spicy little guy. Another flower horn. Albino clown knife. And some small Oscars. And an Odo Pike. Alright, now that I've finished filming the downstairs, I want to show you guys what I'm taking home. At least what I've already decided I'm taking home. What I special ordered. Got my... Uh, Got a blue phantom pleco here. Picked this guy up actually as a gift for my brother for Christmas. Uh, I'm gonna be putting that in his tank. Surprise him. I'm gonna put it through quarantine first, but. And then for myself, got myself a little early Christmas present. These guys here, some nanochromous nudiceps. They're a little stressed out, not showing too much color at the moment. But the uh, Nanochromis, if you guys follow, wow, okay, I got kids screaming. <laughs> if you follow my channel, you know uh, I have Nanochromis Splendens, which are really beautiful. And I saw these nudiceps became available. I got uh, two males and two females here. Really beautiful fish. For that long, uh, long body dwarf cichlid with lots of color. Over here in the salt water, still unpacking some stuff, but we got a cool little garden eel. These guys are awesome. And we've got little pearly jaw gobies. 
I have one at home. These guys are a ton of fun. Burrow, build little nests and uh, or little tunnel nests, and we'll pop out for food. Got all kinds of shrimp. And over here, got a bunch of good-sized yellow tangs and some butterflies. Fox, uh, fox face, rabbit fish, some tomato clowns, uh, some bicolor angels, a couple different small angels, from Singapore. Powder, uh, powder blue tang and uh, Regal Angel. Got a few of the Powder Blues. Quite a few Tomato Clowns. And a Koran Angel. Some smaller Yellow Tangs. Spotted Rabbit Fish. Pretty good size. And just growing this little damsels, some blue tangs, and some cardinals, got a bunch of clowns in the back, a bunch of perculas, a little flame angel. Up top here we got a banded snake eel, this guy's pretty cool. We had a blue ribbon eel, but somebody must have just bought it. Got a couple little um, seahorses, some tank raised, I think some erectus. They're really young though, small. And then some uh, blubber jellies, a little dark blue. And then down here, just a bunch of frags. Had some decent corals coming in recently, some nice looking stuff. And back up here, got some Cortez stingrays. And, oh, we have a blue uh, guinea fowl puffer. We had a gold puffer yesterday, but somebody bought him right away. And back down here to all the corals. Up here we've got a whole bunch of clouded archers and um, some red honey gouramis. A couple little synodonis cats in the bottom part. And as usual in our community fish sections, all kinds of guppies, some Bolivian rams. I normally don't show too much from this area because you know me, I like the rare stuff that you don't see every day, but we always have all kinds of other stuff over here. A lot of assorted tetras. All right, and over here, we've got a black edge eel. Zebra eel, tessellata eel, and a banded shark. These guys are always a lot of fun to watch. And just a bunch of Nessaria snails and uh, feather dusters. Got some. Uh, Anemones, Haitian purple tips. Whole bunch of cleaner shrimp. They came in pretty big this week. A little camel shrimp. Got some pretty cool colored wrasses in here as well. Let's see, oh, there's another one. Got a good assortment of wrasses hiding in here in between things. Shrimp, a little sea apple, 
And then we got a pretty cool little orange lobster hanging out in the back there. So back over to some fresh water. Over in the Pleco section, we got a bunch of royals. Got some mango, a mango and a gray leprechantus under here. The mango next to them. Let's see. Nice green phantom. I already showed you guys my uh, blue phantom I'm gonna be taking home and we got a red tail sternella next to him. Uh, oh, if we look down here, these albinos actually just came from a customer of mine who had a bunch, he had like six of them in his tank and I was like, you don't exactly need that many plecos and they're eating so much and just huge piles of waste building up, so. Brought two into trade for some uh, some supplies for his tank. Got some uh, long fin bushy nose. These fins are beautiful. Uh, we got, oh, somebody brought in, um, these guys are still a bit stressed out, but these are blue panox. And blue panox normally go for a decent amount, but we got these for an amazing price, so we decided to pass it on. 20 bucks each for blue panox. You won't find deals like that anywhere else. And a whole gang of clown plecos. I love these little guys. One of the few plecos that stays pretty small. Much smaller than most other plecos. And some Medusa plecos. And I guess there's a little albino, uh, probably albino bushy nose or something in here. Probably fit his way in through a hole. And then Snowball Plecos. Another one that you don't find deals like that every day. Oh, and we got some more green phantoms. And then a black vampire. As you can say, we've had some uh, snail issues in this sector, so got a whole lot of uh, uh, assassin snails taking care of the job. All right, now for some Corys. Got all these baby pandas. Look at them go. In there with some long fin Aeneas Corys. And then a bunch of Abrosis. And Venezuela and uh, sail fins. They came in really small. Seems a lot of the Corys came in small this week. Especially little tiny pygmies. Some of my favorites. Got a whole bunch of little autosynclus hanging in here, along a bunch of the Caridina and some Neos. You can see we have a whole lot of uh, crystal reds, but our supplier has been mixing in. There's some kind of like higher grade, some, I think some red wines, and they've been sneaking in some nicer uh, shrimp that haven't been selling well every once in a while. I've seen, we even found a few Pintos in here uh, last week. Pretty interesting. So you never know what you're gonna find when searching through all the shrimp. And of course, a bunch of cherries. Can't go wrong with cherries. All right, now we're coming upstairs. Not a lot in here at the moment. This is the, the local bread stuff, just some guppies, a couple little pistos. Got a bunch of local bread German rams and tiny little angels. And we've got a whole bunch of neons. Some gold neons in there mixed with the regulars. And then cardinals in here with them though. We've got a bunch of uh, panda loaches and some little clown killies. There's a little panda sneaking around. And then with that little uh, Rasboras in here with them as well. I think some Phoenix Rasboras. More pandas. Little babies. And discus. Lots and lots of discus. And then what do we got down here? 
small red tail hemiotis, a target fish, a little baby whale, out of focus. <laughs> it's a Julitochromis uh, marlieri, also known as the black. A bunch of little petrocolas, synodonis. Always the cute, smallest synodonis you can get, as far as I know. Little banjo cat, scat. Got a whip tail over there and a synodonis multipunctatus. Some more Julitochromis. Bunch of tiny little uh, stone catfish. Sorry, my camera is just completely losing focus here. Some shadow fins. A uh, hoplo armored cat. A little double trunk mormorid hiding out over in the corner there. And a flag tail porthole cat. A little uh, silver hujeta. A banded uh, leperinus. Chocolate cichlid. Some uh, balloon blue convicts, also known as blue parrots. These guys have been pretty popular lately, kind of newer to the market. A little uh, Le Lupi yellow and uh, another centered on us, an Angelicus. Elephant nose and a true leaf fish. These uh, Australian desert gobies and a little severum and a four line Barloella. Alright, so we got Zenzo here. What's up, peoples? Here to check out some new fish, also. Fish shopping. I'm helping them find what a a good new fish might be. So stay tuned, check out his channel, see what he ends up getting. We'll see. We got a Zamora wood cat over here. The African butterfly, always a favorite. A little American flag killies. Uh, butter coffery uh, tilapia and a Magurnda sand goby. This guy is pretty neat looking. Uh, Zenzo and I were just checking this guy out earlier. Pretty cool looking goby. Definitely really hungry looking all the time too. See, as soon as the lid comes up, he's ready to eat. So over here we got some uh, bigger knives. We got an albino clown. Got a regular knife over here. Got some peacock bass in here. Checking out everything. Always fun to feed them. And some in Texas. And we got some big old parrots. Nice chunky uh, sun cat. You always see the babies in stores. You don't normally see adult sun cats. Nice placer. Big ol' Abba Abba knife. This guy's got some real size on him. Uh, bunch of different cichlids. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, sorry again, I haven't been putting out very many videos, but um, if all goes well and um, I can start to put out some of the videos that I filmed recently, I got quite a few ready to go.